We are Rhonda and Joe with RVing with the Maracas. We've been traveling full-time since June 2020. In this series, we are traveling from Florida to Oregon to pick up our new travel trailer. Our first stop was Gainesville, Florida after selling our RV. Gainesville is home to us, so we were able to unwind in a very nice Airbnb and had time to explore the area as tourists. My niece runs Equestrians Unlimited Riding Academy near Gainesville, and one of the first things we did was go horseback riding with her, her wonderful children, and my sister Angie, and others. She has some beautiful horses, and the trail was fun to ride. I highly recommend this outing if you're in the area. As many of you know, when you live and work in an area, there are places you never visit because of routines, etc. While playing tourist in the Gainesville area, we ventured out one day to the city of Gainesville Sweetwater Wetlands Park on Williston Road. As you can see from the pictures, the park is in the full sun, so you will want to plan for this if you visit in the summer. We went early in the morning and it was beautiful. There are boardwalks and nicely maintained trails. We love seeing all the wildlife. I was a bit alarmed when this small alligator decided to cross the trail right in front of us. You can see why pets are not allowed in the park. As stated on the website, Sweetwater Wetlands Park is a man-made wetland habitat of more than 125 acres. The park provides several environmental benefits, such as restoring natural water flow to Payne's Prairie, protecting and improving water quality in the Alachua Sink and Florida Aquifer, and increasing conservation lands within Payne's Prairie Preserve State Park. Enjoy watching the alligators and wildlife. Oh, well, he got him something. Another wonderful trail to experience in the Gainesville area is the Lachua Trail that leads to the Alachua Sink. This trail is also part of the Paynes Prairie State Park. The trail is about three miles round trip, and this time we were not able to hike the whole trail because it was flooded. There is a lot to see on the trail. The beginning is boardwalk, and there are many birds and alligators. When you get off the boardwalk, there are more alligators, horses, buffalo, etc. Again, no pets are allowed on the trail because the wildlife are so close. I have to admit, I'm always a bit nervous on this trail because the gators are so large and they're right on the edge of the trail. There is no barrier between you and the gators. The last park we visited in Gainesville is San Velasco Hammock Preserve State Park. Again, another park we had never visited while living in the area. The trails are well marked and it is one of the largest remaining mature hardwood forest in Florida. The park is beautiful and filled with wildlife, although we did not see any while we were there. The park is a great place to hike, bike ride, and horseback ride. Enjoy the video of this peaceful area.
Well, that's it for this video. Please join us in our next video as we explore Jacksonville Beach. Thanks for watching and be sure to like the video and subscribe if you're new to our channel. Feel free to leave us a comment and tell us what you think. We'll be happy to respond.